Hey, and welcome to this lesson about circles and arcs. Our central questions for this lesson, what is an arc and how do we measure an arc of a circle? Before we talk about arcs, we need to know what a central angle is. A central angle is an angle that's formed by two intersecting radii, which is the plural version of radius, uh, such that the its vertex is at the center of the circle. So it's when two lines uh, come out of the center of the circle, um, the angle formed by those two lines coming out of the center, uh, that's called a central angle. Now there's two ways to measure arcs. One is by using the central angle. So if you look at this figure on the right, The intercepted angle is x right here. The, the measure of the arc is 80 degrees. So arc AB is equal to the measure of AOB. So the measure of arc AB is 80 degrees. Angle AOB is a central angle. Its interpreted arc is the minor arc for, from A to B. So the measure of angle AOB is 80 degrees, so the measure of arc AB is 80 degrees as well. And, in, and an important theorem for when talking about uh, arcs and circles is that in a circle or congruent circles, congruent central angles have congruent arcs. So if I drew another for example, let me get my pen out. If I drew another uh, two radii on this side, and I said this angle also was x, and let's say let's call this P and Q, then arc PQ would be the same measure as arc AB because they're central angles are also congruent. And if I also had a completely other cir uh, completely different circle, but the two circles were congruent and my central angle was also x in that circle, then the arc created by um, that central angle would be congruent to AB and PQ as well. So let's look at arcs a little more. An arc is part of the, circ the circle's circumference. So if we look here, the circumference is starting at one point and going all the way around the circle until we get back to that point. It's kind of like the perimeter, but for a circle. So an arc is if I only go part of the way along that circumference. So it's actually the measure from A to B, but not directly from A to B, there's a curved arc, an arced path that we take. So here's a definition. Uh, we already talked about this, but this is just the definition uh, written out for you. In a circle, the degree measure of an arc, so you have the degree measure of the arc, uh, is equal to the measure of the central angle that intercepts the arc. So here's the central angle. It's 85. It, it's made up by the two radii. So a radius, remember, is a line from a point on the, on the circle to the center of the circle. So two radii uh, formed there. Uh, they make an angle of 85 degrees. Therefore, the arc AB, the degree measure of that arc, is 85 degrees. Okay. Now there's two ways to measure an arc. Uh, one is by the degree measure, which we just talked about. The other way is by the length of the arc. So the actual length uh, of that curve. Remember, it's not the distance between A and B. So we can't just use the distance formula or a ruler to measure how far apart A and B are. But remember, that's a curved line. So how do we find the length of the arc? Well, the arc length compared to the circumference is the same proportion as the arc measure compared to the total 360 degrees uh, of, of the circle. 
So remembering that the arc measure is the same measure of the central angle, a definition can be formed as the arc length equals the central angle divided by 360 degrees and then multiplied by the circumference. So by dividing the central angle by 360 degrees, you're finding the, pro, uh, the proportion or the, the percentage of the circle that is made up by that central angle. And that's going to be the same ratio of the circumference. So if we multiply it by the circumference, we're going to find the equal percentage of the circumference that is the arc length. So for example, if I have 110 degrees here, that means, so if I go from point B all the way around, I go all the way around 360 degrees. If I start at point B and I go all the way around, I go the total distance of the circumference. And so since 110, if I'm only going 110 degrees out of 360 degrees, I want to know how far do I go along this path out of the total distance of the circumference. So think of it as us unrolling this, this circle and straightening this line out. I'm going to have a line that is straight across. Say this is my circumference. This is B. And this is A. I want to see how far I go. I want to see what distance distance is. I know what this whole distance is. And I know that the ratio between AB and the whole circumference is e equal to the ratio of the arc measure, the degree of uh, measure for the arc, and the total degrees found in a circle, which is 360. So I'm going to multiply that by my circumference, which is 2 pi times r. So 110 degrees divided by 360 degrees times my circumference. The formula for circumference is 2 e, or sorry, is c equals 2 pi r. So my radius is 8. 2 times 8 is 16 pi. And if I multiply that all out, I get 15.3588974 and I can just round that to 15. So the arc length is about 15 units. And just remember an important theorem to take away from this lesson that uh, in the same circle or congruent circles, congruent central angles have congruent arcs. And the converse, in the same circle or congruent circles, congruent arcs have congruent central angles. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you learned a lot. hope you learned what an arc is and how to measure it in multiple ways. Go ahead, try a homework assignment, and reach out to me if you have any questions.